You can always turn an ink blot into a butterfly. You can always turn a mistake into a lesson learned. You can always turn a bad situation into something good. Well, what happened, Sibyl, is I lost my son to suicide at the start of his eighth grade school year. Uh, so my life from that point on completely changed. And this journey of Lendon here really started with an invitation to a high school in Vermont for the very first time to speak about Ryan. And uh, it was that very first morning I discovered there was something more I can do uh, than just get a law passed in his memory. At this age, you know, they have a hard time opening up because uh, that takes a lot of trust. And so I think as adults, we need to do all the time is, is build up that trust, that it's okay to come and talk and open up and, and share what's going on in your life. If it's too hard to go to your parents about stuff like this, I beg you to find another adult you can talk to. It could be your school counselor, it could be a teacher, a family friend, a relative, but please go to that adult and just tell them straight up, you don't feel good inside, and let them help you. Well, one of the most valuable things that we've done at this point is to make sure that we are proactive with approaching this topic because it's really affecting our entire school community as we've seen over the years. It's not something that we can ignore. So the more that we allow ourselves to get out in front of it and share information with the kids about the topics that are most important within this spectrum, they're really able to handle it a lot more with a lot more maturity. Don't be a bystander, be an upstander. Stand up to your friend. One friend of Ashley, one friend of that boy could have made my son's story a completely different one, and I wouldn't be here right now. I think the most important piece that John brings for our students here at Pendale and across the district really since he's been serving our community for about 10 years now has been that students can really advocate for each other and they're the most important support system that they have available and when kids don't stand by and allow things to happen around them and get involved there's a lot more positivity that comes as a result. Having happiness and positivity can really help people who feel bullied and just um, if there's someone you see being left out to invite them over to your table for lunch or just anything that you really think can make a positive change to someone's lives who's not having the best day. I think it kind of made us all realize how like one person's words can like make a huge impact on someone's life. I hope everybody realizes that we need to be a lot nicer to each other and you might say something one way but it comes across a different way so just watch what you say and remember that people have feelings and words hurt. At least one person in this room is going to take this story to heart, walk out of here, go up to somebody, and simply say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. That apology, that real heartfelt apology, will be life changing. You're not going to change the life of the person you've been tormenting, but you're also going to change the life of the better. You'll be a better person. Well, one person can always make a difference. I think if you asked anybody, they would tell you that they could remember one teacher or one peer, one person in their lives that made such a big difference for them moving forward. And if we can reach that one person, then that can multiply because then maybe that person will reach another person who will reach another person in sort of a pay it forward mentality. I think Mr. Halligan's message was very important for all of us because it makes us all realize that there's someone here for us, whether you see them every day or one time in your life, it makes us all realize there's somebody here for us. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. You're not the only person feeling this way. You're not alone. But one of the biggest mistakes you can make is not ask for help. I hope they walked out of here knowing that they're loved. Because I think a lot of times teenagers, they don't fully understand that concept. I truly believe that there's always somebody out there who cares about you. you. And it could be a teacher, it could, again, any support staff here. Um, and I think they just need to keep remembering that, that they are truly, truly loved. I cannot say this enough. You guys are loved beyond belief. I have no doubt the adults in this building care so much about you. You're never alone. This is now the fourth time that he's been here in 10 years, which I think is amazing, to come in front of this many strangers 
and share your story for their benefit is just incredible for me. It says, 10 years of service for Leonard and John Howdy. Thank you for your dedication to the students of Pendale Middle School. We appreciate all that you do. North Penn School District 928-2017.